when you need to create ad groups, keywords, or ads from scratch in bulk, or update existing ad groups with new keywords, ads, and so forth when there's nothing to inherit in those ad groups. You can use the Campaign Builder tool found under the Campaigns. So when we go to the Campaign Builder tool, the first thing is we're going to choose a file. So we're going to walk through how to use the tool and then think about the file a bit. So when you upload a file, you can see the column headers and the information you put in the file. Um, you can remove it and you can just start to create data from it. We have a file here that just includes tire names, tire prices, the tagline for that tire type, and then will be our destination URL. Now we could add more information here we could add a list of keywords one and two we want to combine we could add our headlines in bulk and create an ad group for, by headlines. So there's a lot of ways to sort of mix and match this and then we upload the file now it's important that it is a CSV file and not an XLS file so we're just going to select our file and then we'll have a list of that file with the name we can create ad groups from it so first we choose our campaign so if we have a column in the file that we want to use our campaign name we can just click to add the column or we can choose one of our existing campaigns and say we want to create it here then we move to the next step now in this step we're going to start defining ad groups so first off we want to say where is our ad group now in our case we're just going to name the ad groups based upon the tire name we're creating so we can click on tire name and that's going to name the ad group then for ad groups defined in the CSV but don't exist should we do nothing or create them so for instance if we are creating a lot of ads in existing ad groups then we're not creating new ones so we'd skip anything that that wasn't relevant to what we're creating in our case we are creating new ad groups so we're going to choose to create them what our CPC or CPA is depending on how you're bidding for that ad group so the next we look at for ad groups defined in the CSV meaning we're going to create or have data in the in the CSV file that already exist what do we do so we could use the existing ad groups to create ads meaning we're probably not really defining new ad groups we're just creating ads in our current ad groups we could completely leave them alone which means we're probably creating new ad groups or we could pause the existing ones and then for ad groups that are not in the CSV but exist do we do nothing or pause them so in most cases if you're creating new ones or updating them then anything that's not in the CSV you're probably gonna leave alone if you're rebuilding your campaign from scratch and you don't want your legacy stuff sticking around then you could pause them so then we go to our next step our next step is let's build an ad so we could say we want to buy and we'll use our tire name and then we could put in the tagline so in our file we have the tagline for each tire company so we could put in the tagline and then prices starting from and then we have the price in our file and add the tire price then we can you know write a long description and another long description our final URL is in the file we don't have pathways so we in our file so we could either use the tire name as our pathway we could decide to skip it completely or we could write stuff in there and, and then we can preview what we have to see do we like all this now oh, we have something that's too long so we go change our file we could download the data to make sure that we're not creating a problem here and then it's easy to add another ad so maybe we're thinking okay instead of by tire name let's do tire name starting from and the price point so we could have multiple variables in here now if you have empty information 
and you're creating ads in existing ad groups so there's already ads in there then we could do inheritance so we're looking at ads in the ad group and pulling in any missing data just like we do with the bulk creation tool from like the ad groups where you can inherit data now if we're creating brand new ads there's nothing to get and then for existing ads in ad groups do we do nothing or pause them so if we're updating ads in current ad groups then we might want to pause the ads in this case we're creating new ad groups and new ads so we wouldn't want to do anything next we go to the next step so what's our keyword now in our case we have our tire names we use those as phrase match keywords and then if we had more information we could keep adding new keywords in the ad group and then again we could preview the keywords to be made so we're gonna make all these ad groups and we're gonna use the phrase match of that keyword in all the ad groups with that same name then once we're happy with everything we can go ahead and create the data so with these one of the big big things is thinking about alright what do I want to do now you could only make ads and skip the keyword part you could only make new ad groups and then later circle back with keywords and so what you're really thinking about is in the header of your files what do you want to bulk create are we bulk creating ad groups in a campaign where the ad groups don't exist are we bulk creating brand new ad groups in existing campaigns are we just updating ads just updating keywords or making everything so that's going to decide what columns you really want to create in your files when you upload them and so it's easy then to think about your organization your variables so are we updating ad groups are we changing ad groups are we pausing our old stuff what variables we want by ad we can mix and match text and variables so if you're making ads you eat in new ad groups you need something for every one of these if you're making ads in existing ad groups we could leave something completely blank and inherit the data and then what are the keywords and do you want to mix and match variables for those keywords because we could have multiple variables for our keywords and then you can preview everything and when you're happy you can go ahead and create all this information so it's easy to bulk create ad groups keywords and ads and either brand new ad groups or update existing ad groups and so if you're gonna reuse a file it's useful to name it something you remember and then you can always view the column headers to make sure that you're choosing the correct files and this should make it very easy to create ad groups update ad groups mass create brand new ads from scratch mass create ads in existing ad groups and expand your keyword lists using the campaign builder tool found under campaigns across your account